Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back, Texas All Water Fishing. I am Ruben, and that is the sun that is trying to come up over my right shoulder. We are in beautiful West Bay, and it feels very good to be back in the kayak. It's been a minute. I apologize. Had a elbow injury. It's still tender. Had a lower abdominal strain. Got over that. Got very sick. Almost had a sinus infection. Just got as close as I could get without getting one. But I am over that as well. And we are finally back in the kayak. I have a viewer, a subscriber, who was in town and hit me up and said, Hey, let's go fishing. So he's somewhere behind me. He got stuck up at the ferry. So he'll be here in a little bit. So in case you see me fishing with somebody. I'll be fishing with uh, with Tony. Thanks, thanks for coming out, Tony. And um, yeah, so all of that said and done. You know, we're going to put a full fish report up on Patreon. So if that's your thing, you want to see how this day went and... and Kind of area I fish. We'll join Patreon today. Those that have already joined Patreon, thank you. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget subscribe to the channel. When you get fishing, no wind at all. Uh, a little bit of mosquitoes, some bait on the water. See some mullet jumping. So all good signs. Let's go fishing. All right, today we are rolling with a four horseman cork. Got a nice, lengthy leader line, and we have a uh, big old nice bat gope shrimp style lure. All right, here we have a little bit of oyster. You can see that one that's sticking out over there. And uh, not too sure how shallow this is in front of me. I think it's pretty shallow. I see a little bit of bait on the surface. It looks like bait, it might be oyster too. So I'm trying to hug the oyster line where the oyster ends. I wanna be right next to it without getting hung up, without getting stuck because I want to uh, see if I can catch a red. Look at this sunrise, that is gorgeous. So if I catch a red or a trout hanging around these oysters that are, you can see all the all the bait because it's structure oyster is structure so that's providing uh, shelter for a lot of the bait i saw a few telling reds i even managed to scare a rather big red uh, hanging around the edge of the oyster reef myself and tony we push back in further into the area casting as we went i had a few undersized bites but everything that i saw was very reluctant to bite anything that I threw. I threw lures on corks, weedless, spoons, knock and tail lures, rattling jig heads. It didn't matter what I threw. And I saw plenty of reds everywhere. They were in the grass line. There was a ton of bait. Just everything was reluctant to bite until Tony hooked up to this red. That's a good one. Man, he is holding down. There you go. Nice. There you go. That's a nice and pretty color. Well, quick update. There is no update. Uh, <laughs> I've tried a, a lot of different lures. I've thrown cork, tandem gulp, you name it, spoons. I've thrown everything but top water. And I uh, still haven't landed a fish. I've had a a few fish hit my cork and they hit it hard but they don't seem to be wanting to hold on so i'm gonna keep casting and keep fishing 
we have a little bit of rain coming in and feel like the wind kind of shifted out of the north a little bit i'm gonna put even try to match the hatch seeing a lot of little shed but not having much luck on anything uh there we go there we go uh, a little red i think no, it's a nice trip. Yeah, it's a little red. A little rat red. Picked it up and ran with it. Woo! Little guy. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Relax. Little rat red. First of the day. Ugh. Yeah, he's gonna be a little guy. He's gonna be undersized. I want to see what he looks like, though. Kind of. Just because I like to look. Just because I like to look. <laughs> He's going to be under. I know it. He's going to be 18, 17 and 3 quarters. 7 and 3 quarter baby. Little baby guy. Thank you, plan. That is the first of the day and it has been... Woo! I've been fishing for... Uh... 6 hours and... Oh, um, yeah, about six hours. And that was the first fish of the day. Ouch. Six hour into it. First fish of the day. But I want to keep going. I want to keep grinding. We'll try to, uh, try to see if we can catch at least one flatty. See so we we'll do a catch and cook. That'll be fun, huh? Fish on. Got him. Uh, like another little red, maybe. Uh. Let's see. Maybe a big gap top. Let's see. Oh no. What are you? Big old eel? Big old ribbon fish. Look at this guy. This guy's a hoss. This guy's a hoss. Typically I don't net these guys, but this guy's huge. Oh, there he goes. He's trying to run backwards. Oi, oi, oi. Look at this big old guy. Dang. Oh, there he goes. Look how big this guy is. This guy's massive. Put my hand on him. Oh, oh, watch your, watch yourself, dummy. There he goes. Look how big this guy is. Oh my gosh, this guy's a hot. Big old guy. That big old guy. He's a big one. You see that? How big his head is. Some big old teeth. Yeah, he's a big boy. We'll get that out of there. I'm gonna let him make it on his way. He hammered it though. He hammered it and uh, took off. Dang. It's dug in. Is there anything in this current? There we go. Somebody hit it right there. Yep. I was thinking at the very least, you know, dinks. There we go. That's a nice one. My nice trout. I don't want to go in there. I want to stay on this side because if there's more, I want to catch more. Uh. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got one. Yeah, might not be the biggest or the best, but it's a keeper. Well, I don't even know if it's a keeper. Yep, he came off. See, that's why. So I used the net. Little guy. I don't think he's gonna keep. <clears throat> we'll measure him though, just for fun. Ah, baby, baby, oi, 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 come on. Chill out, be my friend. Let me just get a measurement on you, on you real fast. And, yeah, 15 and a half, 15 and a half inch guy. We're gonna let him go, we're not. We'd say we'll do a catch and cook, but 
Not with a little speck. Especially that guy. He too small. We need like five of those. Oh, it threw it right on his head. <laughs> what the hell? It threw right on his head. Uh. <laughs> Another the dink, the dink. This guy's undersized. Oh, he might be about the same size. He might be 15. Uh. Woo. Go right on his head. Right on his head. Okay. I'll get him off. Gonna tear up your mouth, buddy. Mm, yeah, as soon as I thought I saw that bait come through. Another little guy. Oh, come on, man. You're gonna hurt yourself. Seriously, just relax. Yeah. You never know. I got two. But I was hoping for at least one red or flounder slot. Got that spec slot and 15 and a half isn't a big deal but when you haven't caught a slot fish all day and i mean all day look it's 205 i backed my truck in at 520. <laughs> yeah think about that i backed my truck in at 520 and it's 205 and i'm still here you know, it's it's the life, man. This is the life. We don't choose this life. This life chooses us. <laughs> Come on, one more fish. One more fish. There we go. There you go, baby. Yeah. He's a slot. He's about 15 and a half. Another, they're all kind of cookie cutters. 15 and, 15 and a half incher. Right there, baby. Voodoo doing it. Coming in clutch at the end of the day. I see lightning and rain. I need to get on it. That's that storm that just popped up that I've been kind of waiting on. I was waiting to see if it was going to come, and I think it's here. It's over here, and it's supposed to come across. And I'm supposed to get it on both sides, coming all the way. So I think I'm going to... I think I pushed my luck. <laughs> yep, there it is. There's a thunder. I need to get on the horse. Dang it! I wanted one more. I wanted one more. Well, I had some pop-up showers that are, you know, determined to come, that are determined to head my way, and they're on their way. They just jumped up. You can see them way over there, and I could actually hear them. And they're going to shoot across West Bay and soon be on me. So I'm getting on my horse. I've seen them coming. Uh, sorry for that. But I've seen them coming. Got fish scales all over the lens. And I kind of pushed, pushed a little too 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 hard to stay a little too long i was hoping to get one more after one more after one more but hey if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel also i have all kind of links and even have a discount code in my description section for the cooler that i brought with me today it is blue dot cooler it's a great cooler and uh, i really like it but there's a 10 percent code you can 10 percent off code you can use for that cooler don't forget we do have a patreon as well all my patreons already know about this fishing trip because i already posted in my launch and fishing report for all those guys and gals or maybe it's one gal but anyway i posted it for everybody already so don't forget join patreon today if you haven't subscribed to the channel i have no idea why you have not yet so hit that subscribe button it is totally free and until next time hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks